Welcome. Now, in today's video, we're going to be looking at the cosine rule and in particular finding a side of uh, an unknown. Now, the cosine rule relates to basically having two sides with an included angle for that. And if you look at this blue stuff here, uh, you might go, oh, there's lots to remember. Well, this is actually showing you the relationship for all of the different sides. So depending on which one you want to, want to go for. Uh, as we go through the couple of examples in this video, I think it will hopefully will make it make sense for you what we're going to do. All right, so uh, basically uh, there's an example there which is uh, in your notes, and I just want to go through an example here. Um, in this particular case, when we're finding a side, it's always going to be the square root of that. So I would actually like to even skip that step there, get rid of that step there and put it straight into the formula. All right. So the main thing that we need to check for is to find x over here. It's got to be opposite the angle. All right. So that's what we're looking for, opposite the angle. And we're looking to then use that formula. So if I want to solve for x, Right, I know it's going to be equal to the square root of the first side squared plus the second side squared. Take 2 times by the first side times by the second side times by cosine of the angle that's between them, which is 50 degrees. All right, so this is where you can do this in one step on your calculator. All right, so first of all, make sure your calculator is in degrees. All right, so let's do that. So if we go to our mode, uh, all right, so it's in degrees, that's good. We'll get the right answer. All right, so we go to our calculator and we put our square root in there. All right, so it's 15 squared plus 17 I'll go back. 17 squared. Take 2 times 17 times 15. Doesn't matter which order you do them in. Times cosine of the angle, which is 50 degrees. All right. So that's equal to 15. 13.64 is what I'm going to do in terms of my answer. So 13.64. 13.64 uh, meters. I'm only going to give you a mark for getting to that point of substitution, and I'm going to give you a mark for the answer there anyway. So I don't see the sense in writing an extra line there and now just putting a square root in there. I don't see the sense in that. I think put it straight into the formula. Now, I've got an example. Now, when we're talking about bearings, bearings comes into um, the whole topic throughout okay and it's not just something we just do bearings and then we do everything else it sort of relates to questions and solving them in context so here is an example of a question a helicopter leaves heli heliport H uh, it's measured measuring instruments show that it flies 3.5 kilometers at bearing 128 degrees true to a checkpoint C and then it flies 5.2 kilometers of bearing a 68 degrees to base B. Show that the angle HCB is equal to that and then calculate the nearest distance. All right, so, all right, so this is related to the scenario. Now, when we're doing these things in here, most of these things when we're looking at bearings, they're going to use a concept of 180 degrees in a straight line. Right, so if that was 180 degrees in a straight line, well, if we know this angle here is 128, then this angle here must be equal to, what is it? Must be 52 degrees. Because these two angles here have to add up to 180 degrees. All right? Now that angle there and this angle here have to be the same angle. That's 52 degrees. All right? So therefore, this big angle here in blue, that angle there is going to be equal to 52 degrees plus 68, which is equal to 120 degrees. All right, so that's what we've got there. Now, it's pretty simple if you keep things nice and easy for you. 
So what I suggest that you do when you're, when you're drawing these things is to draw a simple diagram with the information in it that you need to solve. I want to find this distance here D. I know this angle here is 120 degrees. I know this is 5.2 and I know that's 3.5. Right, so therefore I want to work out D, obviously angle inside two sides that you know it's going to be the cosine rule and I'm simply going to put that in there 5.3.5 squared plus 5.2 squared take 2 times by 3.5 now you probably need to use brackets here because they've got decimals 5.2 and then cosine of the angle between, which is 120 degrees. All right, so time to go to the calculator. All right, so we can do the same thing again. All right, oh, I'm not going to do it. Just clear that. So in here, it's 3.5 squared plus 5.2 squared. All right. Take 2 times by 3.5 times 5.2 times cosine of the angle, which is 120 degrees. Uh, enter, and that gives me a distance of 7.58 kilometers. 7.58 kilometers. So that's equal to 7.58 kilometers. Now, does that sound reasonable? Well, we know the biggest angle must have the biggest side. So we know it's only 180 degrees in the other thing. So these other two angles have got to add up to 60. So therefore, we'd be expecting D to be the biggest, the biggest side. If we've got an answer less than 5.2, we know we've made a mistake. So that's a bit of thinking about it. Uh, again, it's a substitution. The formula doesn't look nice, but it's actually really easy to use. So this is a really useful thing for finding the unknown side, given that you've got the angle between two sides that you do have. All right, so make sure that you practice doing some of these questions and to the point you get it, hopefully it'll be easy.